places <laughs> to allow you to stop for the night. Yeah. And this morning we got up and we were going to go to, uh, what was it called? Chambers, Chambersland Island. But I did a bunch of research and come to find out there's a ferry that you have to catch. There's only two times that you can catch it in the morning and you have to have reservations and then it, you have to be there, blah, 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 blah. So it's a lot to it. Um, it's a $15 per person trip on the ferry and then $10 to get into the park so that just wasn't going to work for us. Um, we decided to leave uh, St. Mary's, I think that's what it's called, this little town of St. Mary's, and we're going to head down to Jackal Island. Jackal, I think. Jackal. That's what it was. Don't ask me to remember, I can't even remember what a freaking vegetable's <laughs> called. <laughs> Jekyll, Jekyll. It's Jekyll Island, I think. Anyways, so we're going to go down there and we're going to put our feet in the sand, I hope. I have never... Oh, what was that? I don't know. Maybe something back here. Phil. I don't think so. Do we need to turn around? We heard a bump in the back. Actually, I think it was one of the stay thingies. One of the things that we roll up on. Anyways, um, I forget what I was telling them. Oh, I have never been to the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, something's weird because my yeah, you need my to temperatures. Absolutely. Yeah, this is looking nice and safe, so any place here, over. Done. Um, when we left the parking lot and we got into traffic, at the very first light that we were at, it, it, the truck wanted to kind of stall. Now, we were dinking around, Scott had the truck running, and I was back and forth talking to Aja. And the truck was running, idling for quite a while. And this truck doesn't like to idle like that. So, I don't know. We're going to check it out. We'll let you know what's going on. <laughs> okay, we now know what made the noise. It's that little yellow... Um, the uh, stopper here flew off. Yeah. Okay. Well, it didn't fall... It fell off the generator. Yeah. And that's what made the thump. But... The temperature is still a little high on the truck, but I probably from idling. I think that may have been, and also um, I do draft off Aja a bit, so I just wasn't getting the air. And it's more that you hear a noise <laughs> and it freaks you out. And, and that's the sad thing about it is. Well, we've had so many issues, yeah. it seems like, with, vehicle, with the truck and then, I don't know. We Everything just... looked good, and I did see in the bathroom our thing of hand lotion it was on the ground. Now, I doubt we could feel that all the way back there, but it may have been on the counter. It was on the counter. And so, 
Okay, we're all, we're all good. <laughs> Starting the morning this way is not good. <laughs> not after two cups of coffee. Let's get on. Ah. Oh, okay, sweetie, all's this good. This is let's, part let's of go. travel, guys. Oh, this it's not you know. We show you guys a lot of the fun things, but there are things that are you have to deal with when you come out here, and you need to be prepared for that. I I hear people yeah. when they when they write comments I'm I'm thinking to myself you know they're so excited to get out here they're so they think it's just gonna be all roses out here it is roses because oh. roses have thorns <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah if you uh, if you decide to come out here on the road just be prepared things happen all the time and you got to be prepared so all right let's get on the road and go put our toes in the sand. I think what I was telling you, I don't know if I finished, um, I've never been to the Atlantic Ocean, so I'm really excited about this, and Scotty has been to the Atlantic, Absolutely. Um, but I have not. Have you snorkeled in the Atlantic? I was too young. I did oops. body surf oops, as oops, a young oops. one. I'm trying to hold, okay, this is what's happening. I've got my phone on today recording because um, I had so many, so much stuff on my GoPro and on my big camera. I'm sitting here trying to upload it all onto the computer. So, anyways, all right, let's show you guys where we're at. This is the entrance to Jekyll Island. Really beautiful. I think it'd be ten dollars for us to get in. So oversized. I think it's going to be worth it. I think so. All right, so we've made it to the Guest Information Center. They are open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday, 10 to 5. We can explore the whole island, but she said uh, if we come straight in and come straight down, there's a parking area here for the Drifted Beach, or she said we, there's a bigger parking area over here. Okay. Um, but you have to walk all the way around oh, to okay. the beach. So you can park here. She says school buses park here and um, just walk across the street. But the bigger parking area is here. All right. 
Oh, this is uh, very southern. We just got a little gift shop in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty. Oh, look at the turtles. Fun. Ooh, pretty. Aja's gonna come in here and get a sticker. She likes to collect her stickers. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at these. Ooh, these are really pretty. Some free coffee, restrooms, brochures. Captain Watch. Huh? This is All right, so just a bunch of trinkets in there that you can buy, or you can sit out here and rock on the porch. Let me see the southern feel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. No alligators, though. Not yet. They might be right up on the shore. <laughs> That's why they have a higher level. So they can go up and check it out higher. Right? Let's go up and see. Let's see if we can find an alligator. Nope, still no alligators. Same view, just a little higher. Maybe this is water's a bit brackish, because it looks like it goes in and out, so this it's brackish water. I don't know if gators like brackish water. I couldn't tell you, I don't know. All right, let's get on the road and go check out the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to pay our passage through the gate here. $10. And let's see. $8 or $6 auto, oversized vehicles, 10 I oh, wish we just 6 bucks. Not oversized. Hey, hello. We're just regular rig, right? Uh, All right, thank, thank you. you. What do we get charged for? Ten dollars. Ten dollars, okay. Ten dollars. Ten dollars, but it's good for two days, like you heard. We'll only be spending, I think, one day here, just today. That's okay. Goes to a good cause, I think. It's very beautiful. To an island.
All right. Well, I expected a big open beach. There is a beach over here though. But I didn't know we were gonna have to climb over rocks. I thought this was like a big open sandy area. Because the wind hits it real hard. Right? Okay, so do y'all want to just go further down? Because it looks like it gets harder to cross it. Holy cow. Oh, it's going this way. We're on the beach. I mean, I don't even care if you had tennis shoes on. It still would be hard walking on no, this. Oh, yeah. We need to go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is not easy. All right, well, I'm going. I'm going for it. Some of the rocks are laid. Yeah, they're laid funny and then they teeter. Ooh. Yeah, not easy at all. Oh my goodness. That was a trek down here. <laughs> oh, my first step onto the Atlantic beach. <laughs> Mumu don't like that. Okay. Oh, it's not too cold. It's kind of chilly. <laughs> Dive in like a mermaid. No. It's a little too cold. So you can see all the trees that are up on the beach. That's why it's called Driftwood Beach. The wind and the salt water and probably a few combinations of other things have preserved the trees. That's what the information was that I read. Now this just toppled over. I don't know if this is swampy up here. Oh, hey, look at that. You gotta see it from this side. It's incredible. And it's just beautiful. I mean, it's sad, but it's beautiful. It's, yeah, it is sad. Look at that. And then the ones that are all white are just, they say they're preserved. You have to get off the land. See. I can't remember. Is this Mexico? Like, uh, what do you got in there, buddy? Uh, well, there you couldn't see very well unless you got off the beach. And then when we got out there, we could see the fish down below. But right on the beach, it was so turbulent, it was quite the same. So that's why if you look out there, it looks like it gets clearer because of just the, the, the fact the water is just bringing up the dirt and muscle. And all the rivers are feeding into the ocean right. that are bringing the debris down. And that's what feeds uh, the ocean. Horton House Historical Site. Oh, look at that. I've seen that on mine. what's left of it. If you want to know about that, you'll have to look it up on the internet because I don't think we're coming back this way to stop. So I found out a little bit of information on that Horton house. It was built in 1743. Wow. That's a 
few days back. A few days. By Major William Horton. Horton House is one of the oldest tabby, tabby buildings in Georgia listed on the National Register of Historical Places. Very cool. You know what? I have to wonder if Mr. Horton ever heard of who. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> I just can't stop it. <laughs> you set me up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I don't Sorry, know what Mr. Horton. <laughs> <laughs> what, Mr. Horton? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to. The minute I said Horton, I thought he's going to come up with something silly to say. Oh. I don't know what to do with him, you guys. Oh, goodness. You're well, always... <laughs> I know. Thank you, Mr. Horton, for such a wonderful place you did here. No, it's, this isn't his place. The building we have. That's been what I meant. There was his place. <laughs> it's been a long day, and we've had a lot of fun. We pulled into the historical area. Unfortunately, everything is closed. It's Sunday, and it is almost six o'clock. So. We're not going to get to experience this area. Well, you know, I think I think in the next year, couple years, we'll we'll definitely be back into all these areas that we've seen because they are they're really beautiful. Um so we'll just save some for next time. That's all. All right, we're going to get on the road because we do need to find a place to settle down for the night and make some dinner and rest our heads. And I'm making BLTs tonight. Yummy. He saw those pigs on the side of the road, and he's been wanting BLT ever since. I know. <laughs> okay, let's get out of the park. <laughs> <laughs>